Hello everyone and welcome all to this channel my research support so friends in today's video we'll be discussing about one unique AI tool that is Julius.ai and we have never discussed similar kind of tools on our my research support channel before and believe me this tool will help you a lot in performing your statistical data analysis while writing your research papers thesis assignments etc so this is the main homepage of this Julius.ai where you can create multiple graphs charts you can get insights into your data you'll be able to perform advanced data analysis problem solving you'll be able to create multiple reports of whatever data you have analyzed and believe me this interface is really very simple so first you have to sign up if you don't have any account otherwise you can log in with your login id and password so simply i'll log in with my google account so after you log in, you'll be able to get this page. So this would be your working interface where you'll be getting a few options on the left side. Also, you can opt for any of these options. So this will decide where in what direction actually you need to take your data analysis. Like you may have this default option. You may choose chat GPT-4, this GPT-4, GPT-4 mini, etc. Then you have few options under these tools. Means whether you need to opt this Python, or maybe R, Lean Python, etc. That you have to decide means whether I need to opt this code based data analysis, whether I need to search in the internet, or whether I need to take help of few models, AI, popular AI models like ChatGP. Now, let us take an example and we'll see how to perform this statistical data analysis. So, for that, you have to attach your data sheet. You may use this icon so you can upload through your computer or you may drag and drop any of your data files. So, simply I'll be using this option upload file and I'll be attaching this data sheet. Now, once your data sheet is ready for the analysis, then you may select any specific columns for the analysis any specific rows for the analysis or you may select entire data so for now i'll be considering the entire data for the analysis so i may be putting the prompt in this way i need to get some means this is a very huge database and i want to get some insights into my data so obviously i may put this kind of prompt like give me some general insights into my data just enter so you'll be able to see that this Julius.ai has started generating this Python code and after this tool will finish generating this Python code, this code will run and will create some insights into your data. And now this program is executed and you will be able to see the insights into your data like data structure, measurement patterns, time intervals, variability, data range, etc. After you get some important insights into your data, you may use this type of prompt like generate few important graphs from this data. And now you can see that this Julius.ai has started generating this Python code which would be executed in order to generate different graphs from your data. And you can see this, this code is executed and you will be able to see the different graphs. Okay, if you need to have or you, you need to generate a specific type of graph then you can put a prompt like generate a scatter plot generate generate a pie chart maybe generate a bar graph etc now you can put a specific prompt if you want to perform any specific type of data analysis for example if i want to perform descriptive statistics then i can put this prompt give me descriptive statistics for load versus displacement data so you can see this, this code is generated and it is executed. So you will be able to get this descriptive statistics in the form of different graphs along with the observations means what exactly conveyed in first graph, second graph, etc. So you will get some set of graphs under this descriptive statistics. So based on that, all this analysis, you will be able to see whether which graph is most important as far as your data analysis is concerned and accordingly you may select those graphs. So along with this specific data analysis, this tool will also suggest what types of different statistical analysis may need to perform on your data. So you can see this. To further analyze this data, we could perform statistical tests like ANOVA to quantify significance of the differences etc. So for example, now if I want to perform this ANOVA, you can ask this julius.ai as can 
you perform ANOVA for this load versus displacement data. So you can see this, this code is generated and even it is executed to get this P value which is 0.87 statistics value and even its interpretation. So this kind of a very general example that we have taken, even the data that I have attached, it is a kind of general in nature, but you can attach specific data and you can put specific prompts in order to get the specific outcomes. And apart from this data analysis, you can perform a lot more things. So you have to just visit model lab where you have access to most popular AI models. So you can select any of these models. For example, I'm selecting this 4.0 then you can put a prompt here if you wanted to write different sections of your research paper thesis you can put the prompt here and you will be able to face the information from this popular ai models and this is what i most like about the julius.ai because everything is embedded within the single interface and in addition to this if you have different queries regarding how to perform specific data analysis then you can visit this community tab of this julius.ai where you will have an access to different questions asked by different users of this julius.ai also you will be able to first you have to log in to this platform and then you will be able to ask questions you can clarify your doubts from this interface that is again one of the most important part about this julius.ai now finally let us discuss about its subscription so this is not a free tool so with free account you will be able to use some limited features but in my personal opinion is it is worth subscribing this julius.ai but the only thing is you should smart enough to use all the features of this julius.ai so in initial stage you need to take different data sets you need to use different prompts in order to perform different types of statistical data analysis and once you get familiarized with this interface you get expertise with all these features then only you will be able to yield the proper results so if you want to subscribe for the premium plans then definitely i provided the link in this video description so you can click on that link and you can provide this discount coupon so that you will get additional 10 percent discount so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you so if you have any queries you can write us through comments we'll definitely try to answer all these queries so once again thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye